My given name is Meth Elk. My Christian name is Sterling. And I am originally from the Poland Island. That's where I'm from. And my mother is from there. And my culture is the uh, Lachibu. That I'm, that's my tribe, is the Lachibu. And um, I got into it when I lost my mother, and I lost my father, I lost my brothers and my sisters. And I got into that. But in the Christian way, people are not supposed to get into things like that. But um, it's been about three, four, Oh Lord, forgive me. I think it's about eight or nine years I've been into the traditional movement. And Meth Elk is, the meaning of Meth Elk is the chief who talks bravely. It's a Nach Nach name that belongs to a chief. Nach Nach means a high ranked name that belongs to Meth Elk. Grief, I've seen a lot of it, and I got a lot of people that called in. And a lot of young people couldn't cope with what happened to their friends. And some of them said they had a dream of their friends that hanged themselves. And they said, uh, I'm afraid to do that. And I said to them that you can't listen to that because your life is more important. I said, move on, just ask for help. I'm here to help you, you know, to pray you through. But all the death that's been going on with the young people. and. I tell them, I said, uh, to the ones that are left behind, their friends, I said, this is just the beginning of the person that commits suicide. Because the Bible talks, he that taketh his own life in the New Testament, tells there's no, there's no hope. And I tell them, I said, just get a hold of Chris, uh, people, your grandmother, your grandfather, and tell them, well, you're really hurting. So most of them are really hanging, trying to hang on to the best, to the ability of their lives. That's why I tell all these young people, you know, when you feel this urge, just get a hold of people. You know, get a hold of Christian people. Okay? See your grandmother, your grandfather for help. Tell them what you're going through. And I tell them that, like this, like one of them, one of the boys said that uh, it's going, to, it's going on to about. Ten years for him, for his friend that died, that was in suicide. And I can't, I can't cope with it. And I told him, I said, it's a process healing. See, see people. Go to revival. Go to church somewhere. Talk to your, talk to your friends that don't drink. I said to him. So, it, it takes time. And when me and my wife lost our daughter, and the lady said that. Um, her only son was murdered by his girlfriend, which is uh, about five, six years ago. And she said, it still hurt, the pain's still there. And she said, you want to know something? My wife was crying, she said, well, it's a, it's a healing process. It's just overwhelmed because seeing, you know, seeing that they were trying to Cover, cover him up with a, with a gunshot. So she said that only thought, the only one that could really uh, help her was, you know, pray and ask the Lord to really deal and help her. And that's what she's been doing. And that's everyday process that me and my wife is doing, is praying. Because I always say to the rest of my family, my sons and my daughters, my grandchildren, I tell them, I said, you're here. Now's the time we're like, Listen to me, you know. Quit what you're doing, you know. They got families of their own. They, you know, like. But the young, the young uh, kids, they really, they really listen when they, you know, we, we talk about the Lord. It's a healing process. But when you're alone, like when I'm alone, I cry, thinking of, you know, like if my daughter was here. You know, me and her were almost like um, real, real friends. Like, you know, she was like a friend to me. Every time when she see me going.
going through something, she's always there to hold on to me. And then vice versa, if she, she's hurt, and then I'm there to do the same for her. But um, what me and my family do is we hug each other and we tell, we miss her, we miss her, but we just hug each other. And that's what I want to say to all the ones that lost loved ones that go through all this pain and hurt that they're, they're carrying, is to hug their family that are, that are still here.